Welcome back to Parent Nation with Tara Kennedy Klein, the Internet's top talk radio show featuring real talk for real parents. Clean my house? <laughs> it's time to clean their house. You know what it means if my house is clean? I have big closets and a broken computer. Shaken and stirred up with a twist from America's family advocate, Tara Kennedy Klein. And now, back to the show. Hey, Parent Nation, welcome back to the show. I am so, so excited for our first guest, Jameson Mercer, Mercier, sorry, um, because he's a licensed uh, social worker and a life coach, but um, he also works with people with marriage counseling issues. And um, for Dad Day, I really love that we can bring dads onto the show because I don't think in parenting we do enough of that. And I love when we can bring dads onto the show and really give us a perspective of the integral parts and pieces that dads play in parenting and how to get them more involved. So, Jameson, hi. Welcome to the show. How are you? Hi. Hi. I'm good. Thank you for having me. How about you? I am doing great. I'm doing really good. I love Dad Day. It's like my favorite show of the month to do, actually. I have I have to commend you because that is something, <laughs> like you said in your intro, you do not see a whole lot of, uh, particularly on the parts of mothers. So hats off to you. Hey, thanks. And hats mm-hmm. off to you because, you know, we couldn't be moms without dads. So... <laughs> <laughs> You have you have a, a pretty strong opinion about how fatherhood has kind of changed and morphed over the years, don't you? Well, I do, I do, and you know we can't ignore um, that it has it has changed, and I guess and and I'm, I think it will continue to change, but it looks nothing like it used to, um, even from I guess our parents' generation. Oh, no, absolutely. I mean, it's so funny because when my mom was alive and she would tell me stories about my childhood and my and when she even gave birth to me, Mm. my dad wasn't there. My dad wasn't even (laughs) part of the equation. It was like, you know, there was a room that the dads waited in if they wanted to stay at the hospital. I mean, you could always go down to the local bar or whatever, go hang out with your friends. And then you would get the news that the baby was born and you would come back and you would look at it through glass, Uh you know. And uh, like picking a lobster, and, <laughs> and and that was pretty much the beginning of how that whole relationship went. Yeah, you're absolutely and, right. You know, not now. And the contrast today, um, it's expected in a lot of cases for dads to be present, uh, start to finish. And do you, you think know? that that's healthier? Do you think that that creates a different type of bond with their child? Well. The child, perhaps, but definitely it, it does something for the month for the parents. Um, you know, to be able to experience that as a couple, you know, not just mom is going through labor and I show up after, that is a, an experience that you will have forever that you can't replicate, that no one else can speak on but the two of you. And then for dads, you know, afterwards to be able to say you know i saw my kid come into this world and i also you know was able to either cut the umbilical cord or to wrap him whatever the case was that does something with parents um with fathers in particular because the thing about dads dads typically don't bond with the kids in the womb like mothers do Mm mm-hmm it's hard to do that. And I mean, what are we going to do? I mean, we talk to the belly, and we, we hope they hear and, you know, can't wait to meet them. But the real bonding for a lot of fathers doesn't really begin until after birth. And even then, some dads, you know, they may struggle to adjust to that. So if that can get started relatively quick, relatively early, uh, that does it goes a long way to help fathers out. I have um, I have spoken with a lot of dads who have had issues where they felt like they just couldn't, they weren't bonding with their baby, and uh, you know it was one of those things where I can see I can see that bond between my child and my my spouse, but I just don't have that same connection. I'm not feeling that same connection, and when I talk to fathers who were actually part of the birthing process that connection seems to happen a lot stronger a lot sooner than... Yeah, you know, it, the fact that 
And, you know, I mean, this is me speaking for, as an outside observer. You know, I'm fortunate that my wife provided me with three kids. And having been a part of all three of their births, you know, it's it's hard work. And when couples can endure something like that uh, together, mm-hmm. it really does a lot um, for the relationship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not to say that we struggle as much, but, you know, just to be I was in hoping that you were going to say that. <laughs> no, 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 by no means. I mean, other than my hand and my fingers, um, I think I might have lost some buttons on my shirt one time. Uh, no, no, it's nothing like mother's experience. It's so funny, though, because I, um, the first person that my son saw was my husband. And he will oh, never let awesome. anyone forget that. And that's and, and that's really cool to me, you know, that's because, awesome. yeah, there's so many other things that I get to experience. He needed that. He needed that connection. And I'm so glad that he had it. Uh, do you think that um, do you think that it's important that dads t- take more time to stay home with their kids? Like, my husband stayed home for a couple days after our children were born. You know, that was all his paternity leave would allow him. It was basically he had to take vacation days. Do you think that we should allow fathers to take a, a, a paternal leave of absence from their you jobs? Know, I absolutely would, would, would say that dads should get some kind of paternal um, leave. Um, you know, now that isn't to say that that's where it ends. You know, I think the overall idea is for fathers to be more more involved and whatever work or schedule would allow as much as possible, I definitely think, you know, that that should be a part of it. And for some people, it does mean um, being in, uh, being home with the kids. Uh, in, my, in my case, I, I was able to do that. Um, and, you know, I loved every moment of it. Um, it's a big part of, you know, my work and my mission now. But I think the key idea is just for dads as much as possible um, to be involved, have a few days off from work, even when they do go back to work, um, just, you know, not kind of fall off the equation. Mm. Yeah, because I can tell you, I was, uh, I didn't realize at the time that I was experiencing postpartum depression, but when I look Mm. back on it now, I can really see where those things happen. I became like a hermit, you know, and the only people I wanted to be around was my baby and my husband. And when he went back to work and he was gone for extended periods at a time, I was, I was so sad. I was so depressed. I don't even know how I functioned. Wow. You know, in those in those first couple weeks after he went back to work, but I couldn't tell him that. I couldn't really tell anyone that. But when he was there, I was empowered. Like I I felt really good about my family and what I was contributing, even though I wasn't working. I felt really uh-huh. good about what I was contributing. But it was only when he was there. So. Oh, that is good. I don't think a lot of dads, I don't think enough dads realize how appreciated and needed they are when a new baby comes into the relationship. You're absolutely right, you know, because it isn't expected that fathers either want to be or they need to be. Um, And a lot of dads have kind of bought into that idea that, you know, well, I just, now that he's here, Junior's here, Susie's here, I, I have to go home now, go to work now, and just be, go back to being a provider. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's, that's essentially, you know, how a lot of society looks at dads and the role they play within the family. Do you think that that's why a lot of dads are, um, I don't know how to say it really, but there's, when we look at single parents... It's like it, it's an overwhelming majority of them are moms. Mm-hmm. It's like in the 80 percent of single parents that are caring for their child are moms. Do you think that dads are stepping away from the equation more and more because they don't feel needed? A lot of fathers do feel like they're not needed. Um, the idea of caring and nurturing and providing for children has been relegated to just strictly mothers um, when I know tons of dads who do great jobs of providing care. But 
a lot of times we laugh at the idea that how is you know a father caring for one, two, or even three children, or two girls? You know, what's he? How can he even begin to think that he's capable? <laughs> right. So they're not even given a, a chance half the time. You know, it's automatically assumed that mothers um, are much better caregivers, and and uh, you and I both know that that. It's not true. There are cases where some women, you know, struggle, and there are Mm -hmm. cases where men excel in caregiving. It's so amazing to me that when you see a situation in the news where uh, a father is left with his children, left motherless with his children, all of Parent Nation wants to swoop in and save him. (laughs) You know, you've got got mothers from all over the country wanting to bake him cookies and make dinners and take his kids to practices and do all of these things. But you so very rarely hear that when it's a mom. No, no. I I, I have a buddy of mine who had the same experience where, you know, when he was caring for his girls, it was automatically assumed that he needed help with changing diapers and and uh, bottle feedings and he you know took offense to that because you know it, uh, it it's not that i'm incapable it's just i'm never given the opportunity <laughs> right exactly exactly it, yeah so we do need to offer dads a chance and if they mess up hey you know let them but dads are perfectly capable you know children are much more durable than a lot of people realize <laughs> True story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have have you seen a big shift in the number of dads who are role reversing and staying home and playing the the parent the at home parent role where, while mom goes to work? Yeah, that is something that has been happening easily. Uh, I, I want to say within the last decade, that shift has been uh, trending upward, um, and I didn't really notice it until I was in in a situation where I was home just feeling like some sort of anomaly. But dads are, 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 and not just necessarily with the stay-at-home dad movement, but dads are, you know, deciding to be more involved and be home even if it's for a a, a short time. Um, You know, women, the moms, they would like to perhaps go back to school or a second career um, or dads just want to be the one to do it, and they're like, "Hey, you know, let me allow you, give me permission." Aww. and see, that's so funny to me because I feel like dads have to ask permission a thousand times more than moms do. Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, yeah, par- particularly with caregiving, because again, it's not something that um, it, it's not something they feel that they have a right to, almost, which is sad. Um, you know, and even when they're given permission, sometimes you know it's it's uh, it's we mothers will still kind of watch and supervise, and it's not really being given permission. They they tend to hover just to make sure that it's done right. In mm. my air quotes. Right. <laughs> we micromanage ourselves into like these insanely stressful levels of life. And then we complain that we're trying to manage from insanely stressful levels of life. Yeah. When, if, <laughs> you know, it's it, that's become the buzzword. I'm so busy. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I'm sorry I didn't respond to your text, but I'm so busy. I, life is so busy. And if we would just step back and let dads do what dads do. And no. there are, it's unfortunate that moms feel so overworked and stressed out and burned out because a lot of dads are willing, and in many cases they've even suggested, hey, you know, play hunt, I will do this, you know, I will take them to school. Um, but the moms, in many cases, not all, do feel that it has to be them to do it. Mm. I think, well, I can totally relate to that. I mean, I am, my, my husband is an amazing father. And yet if he handles a situation in a way that I feel like I'm going to have to clean up the repercussions of later, (laughs) (laughs) then I'm just, I just sit there and go, Oh my gosh, why don't you just let me handle the parenting? I, 
And I know that it's not fair to him, and I know that it's not healthy for our relationship. And yeah, yet, so you're normal. That that's all that means. Mm. You, so you, you need to tell him a, that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be glad to. You know, there's a very neat book I came across. This is a kids' book, actually. It's called "Dads Do It Different." And you know, while I, it's a kids' book, I really think moms would uh, benefit from from reading a book, from reading that very same book. And you know, it's okay that dads do it different. It so is because kids need different. You know, yeah. yeah. There's certain things that my my husband is uniquely qualified to teach my sons, and you know, there were things that my dad was uniquely qualified to teach me as his daughter. That as much as my mom loved me, and as much as I love my kids, I can't be both male and female to them. I can't be both mother and father to them. As much as I'd like to say that I can and be and put on that super mom cape. Mm-hmm. It's simply not realistic. It's it's not doable. No, and, and you know, a lot of single moms in particular find themselves in that same dilemma. And, you know, I grew up, you know, my father passed when I was young, so I just had my mother. And, you know, I've heard, you know, the mantra, I have to be both mom and dad. And, you know, it, it's tough. It's tough. It's and, and it's even worse when you think, you know, your mom, dad is here but you feel like you also should do his job that doesn't make any sense oh i love i love the whole concept of letting moms off the hook i really love that oh my gosh could you imagine we are (laughs) out of time jameson but this was so much fun and i'm so glad that you joined us and i want people to connect with you on our facebook page we're going to put your website and everything up on facebook so they can connect with you and when we come back from this break this has been fun I'm glad. We come back. We're going to talk to Jake Green from Millennial Parents after this break.